Hello, we're looking at Glencoe Accelerated Math, Lesson 6-2 on estimating the percent of a number or the percent of a number mentally. What that means is that we are going to be looking for parts of a whole, but we're going to try to figure that out in our head instead of using a calculator. So if we look at the page, it gives us a table of common percent fraction equivalents because sometimes it's easier to think in that way. So for example, if I ask you for a quarter of 60, we know that's 15 because 60 minutes is an hour and a quarter hour is 15 minutes, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes? yes. Yeah. We're, we're with us this morning? Not even like money-wise. Quarter means one-fourth. So one fourth of a dollar is 25 cents. Okay? So it works that way too. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking to find common relationships between numbers. So if we look at example one 75% of 24. Is that 75, not 25. <laughs> but we could also find 25% mentally. Okay. 75% of 24. 75% is the same value as 3 fourths. We know that of means to multiply and 24. So what we're looking for is some number that we can divide 24 by. Well, 6 times 4 is 24. But instead of having 4 sets of 6, we, need, we only need 3. That's what this means. Okay? So if we need 3 sets of 6, that's 18. So 3 fourths of 24 is going to be 18. Yeah. You with me? Kind of, sort of, maybe? Sure. It's too yes. early. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. So, I know it's early. I know our schedule just changed. But stay with me. You can do it. <laughs> We're going to have to make sure that our eyelids can, in fact, stay open and we can stay sitting upright in our seats. <laughs> so, let's walk through this again. Three-fourths is, is the same as 75%. Yes. Okay? We're good with that part? Yes, sure. ma'am. Okay. That is just a fact. 75% is equal to 0.75, which is the same as three-fourths. Okay? If we're looking at three-fourths of 24, that means that we don't want all of the 24, we want a part less. Now, if I know that I'm looking at that out of four parts, this is where that elementary school a fraction is a part of a whole thing comes in? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I need four sets of something that I can multiply together to get to 24. That's six. Six times four is 24. But I don't want all four of them. I only want three of them. So three of those sixes gives us 18. Okay? No? I, I get it. Because four fours is 24. And four sixes yeah, is 24. four sixes is 24. And then you just multiply the... You only need three of the... Six is, say you would do six times three, and that gets you 18. Good. Okay, now, that's one way that we can do it. For example, if we are looking for 80% of 60, okay, 80% is the same as four fifths. It's the same as four-fifths. Now, 
anybody that was trying to hit that five foot tall mark when you were getting, when you were little, okay, you, you wanted to ride the roller coaster rides that said 60 inches, mm -hmm. right? Okay, well that means that you had to be five feet tall because five times 12 is 60. So, I want, I don't want five sets of my 12, I only want four sets of my 12. Four times 12. So what would be 4 times 12? 48. 48. 48. 48. Okay? Easy. Alright, now. Guys, I'm not going to lie. There are multiple ways to estimate. And to solve proportions mentally. One is, use, one is this way. Okay? The other way is what I generally do. Okay? So the orange way is what they do in the book. Let me show you what I do. Do it in green. Um, green doesn't show up well, so I'm going to use blue. Close oh, enough. All right. So, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Multiply, of means to multiply. All right. And a percentage is a decimal. If I have 10% of something, that means that I move the decimal point one place. So if I'm looking for 75% of 24, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move my decimal point here, 2.4. That would be 10%. But I don't have 10, I have 70. So I would take 7 sets of 2.4. Now, <clears throat> generally when I do this, I'm also rounding. Okay, so if I'm looking for the price of an item, at the store, let's say they're having a 75% off sale and the jeans I'm looking at are $24, okay? I want to know what, what that's going to be. So I would probably round this to two and a half, 2.5. One set of 2.5, two gives me five, three is seven and a half, four is 10, 5 is 12.50, 6 is um, 15, all right? So I'm at 15. Then I need a half of that because I have that extra 5%, which gives me 1.2. So if I'm at 15, I'm at 16.2. If I counted my numbers correctly. All right. Did that get me close? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, with 24, it's a little screwy. This works better for that, right? <coughs> I'll agree. However, if I'm looking for 80% of 60, if I move my decimal point here, 10% is 6. But I don't want 10%, I want 80%. So what's 6 times 8? 6 times 8 is 48. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then I get my 48. Yes. So will it always be out of, whenever you're trying to find that percentage of a number, will it always be out of a quarter? No. So this one was, out, was four fifths. You could also be looking for a third of something, like 33%, or um, 66 or 67% would be two thirds. It can be all different kinds, okay? And that's why our book gives us a table there. Let's look at another one. Okay, Example two, example two talks about what I just did, where we moved the decimal point. Okay, so if I wanted 1%, if you look at example 2B, 1% of 122 would be 1.22. Because I don't want 10%, I just want 1%, so I moved the decimal point twice. Yes, ma'am? Could you divide the number by the denominator? You could. Yeah. All right. Now, Here's the part where 
I think this becomes more realistic, okay? Being able to do things mentally, yeah, that's great. I think that's a great skill to have. It's very handy. However, we live in a world of cell phones with calculators, correct? Yes. Okay, so I think being able to do this mentally is great. I think being able to, to estimate the percent of a number is going to come in handy more. So let's focus on that for a couple minutes. Look at example four, please, on page 257. I'm looking at example four, part A. 26% of 64. All right, we're looking for 26% of 64. Mm -hmm. 26% of 64. Now, when I'm estimating, I can round to make my numbers easier to work with and provide my estimate. I can round the percentage, I can round the value, or I can round both. In this example, do you think I should estimate the percentage, the value, or both? Both. Both, both absolutely. Are either one of these nice, easy numbers to work with? No. 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 Okay, so what would we round 26% to? 25. 30. I would round it to 25%. 25, yeah. Bam. Bam, shalam. Bam. 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 <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> let's be careful with the bam because bam sounds a whole lot like something else you're not supposed to say. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh and you can't edit. <laughs> 64. Um, 65. Right, we could do this as 65. If we're finding a quarter of something, if we think for just a second. 25% is the same as one fourth, correct? Correct. Okay. If we take 64 and divide it by four, does that work nice and easy? No. Really? I mean, it could be. So I get 26. What? I do not get 26. You get 16. I get 16. I knew that there was a 2 in there somewhere. How do you do that? 16. It's on there. All right. We are extremely chit chatty today. Yes, ma'am. I'm glad that we're awake, but we need to make sure that we're staying focused, too. So, first of all, we noticed that when I said 26, 26 was not the correct answer. It's 16. It's 16. How did I get 16 when I took 25%? Because and I converted it to one fourth. What did I do? Yes, ma'am. Um, you had to minus that so you could get one fourth instead of the um, three fourths. Not quite, because I know that twenty-five percent is one quarter, which is one fourth. But when I multiply, how did I know that one fourth times sixty-four equals sixteen? Real easy. Yes, ma'am. Because um, sixteen. Because, first of all, if you, um, because three quarters, never mind, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> yes. Because 64 divided by 4 is 16. 64 divided by 4 is 16. Why did I leave it at 16 instead of multiplying by something else? Because you don't need to. It's a Because... Well, I didn't need to, but not because it's a percent. What's my numerator? Because of four. What's oh, my numerator? Oh, one. 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 I only needed one of it. You only needed one of it. I only needed one of the four parts. And a fourth of 64 is... Right. So up here we multiplied that six by three because my numerator was three. Here... If my numerator is 1, I only need that number one time. Okay? Which gives us 16. 
Yes. So like, if it was busy, it did like you need one. No. Well, if it was if you two fourths, then it'd be fifteen. If it was fifty percent, it would be one half. Yeah, but what would it be? Of six, half of 64? 32. Okay. How are we doing? Good? Confusion. Confusion? Okay, let's do one more. One more. Okay. You ready? Yes, I am. We're going to do example 4B. It's going to be a negative one. 120% of 51. Shh. Eyes and ears up front, please. 120 Shh. All right, 120% of 51. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to round this to 50. Hold on, why would I take half of 120? Right, but the percent signs with my 120, not with the 50. I don't know, but half of 120 is 60. You would divide. Oh, you're right. And you would divide some. But if my percentage is greater than 100, then what does that mean? Yes, sir. It's more than 51. Right, that means my answer is going to be greater than 50. So it's 20. Hold on. 60 is Don't guess. 50. No, 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 no. Don't. <laughs> is 50, correct? Yes. Okay. Sure. 20%, 20% is one fifth. Okay. What is one fifth of five? One fifth of five. One. 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 Okay. Oh, one. Add a zero behind it. 60. <gasps> so oh, it's stupid. stupid. I knew it. I knew it was That was an easy one. But, how many of us would have gotten it wrong because you would have put your answer as 70. half of 120? Yeah, I would have done that. Okay. This time, the answer would have worked out correctly. Would that work every time? No. 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 Don't do that. All right. Question. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. All right. Thank you very much.